I'm Holsey Smith, and this is David Brigham, and we're here in Olney, Texas, doing a pre-block walk on this Air Tractor 802F Fireboss. David, what makes this aircraft so special? It's not just a crop duster, it's not a pleasure airplane. This airplane has a mission, it's a lifesaver. It's not only saving forests, it's not only saving homes, it's saving human lives, animal lives. The airplane goes to work and it just does an amazing job of taking fires out. One of its special roles is not necessarily attacking the big fires, but attacking the small fires, the spot fires, before they get big. And that, that's where this aircraft really, really shines. You know, it's amazing, David. I was watching a little bit of footage on this aircraft, and with Swarm Flying, this single-engine air tanker can put more water on a fire than some of the larger aircraft that they typically use for firefighting. Yeah, absolutely. Talking to some of the folks at Dauntless Air, we, we take care of a lot of their aircraft. One of the fires they were on last year, and they had three aircraft flying. So essentially, every time they, they flew a sortie, they were carrying 2,400 gallons of water to the fire. And about the only other aircraft that could effectively do that would be a Chinook, which will carry 3,000 gallons. And then a super tanker, they'll carry more, but then they're an hour, two hours away. And the air tractors are right there on scene. If you think about it, single engine air tanker costing thousands of dollars an hour to fly, or a multi-engine helicopter or super tanker costing tens of thousands of dollars an hour to fly. Yeah, it's such a difference. I think the single engine air tractor is probably the winner. Let's take a look. Probably this is a Dash 67F engine. The airplane's normal configuration on the tail dragger landing gear, the engine's output is 1,450 shaft horsepower. When the aircraft gets put on these floats by whip line, they're part of their STC increases the output to 1,700 horsepower. 1,700 horsepower in a single engine fire bomber, that's unheard of, David. It, it gives it just crazy amounts of power so they can get all that weight off the water. David, why is this aircraft equipped with dual main landing gear? So not only do they scoop water, but they also have the capability to fill the, the hopper with retardant on the ground. So they can land at an airport, they can fill the aircraft up with fuel or retardant and take off at max gross weight. With the new gates and the, the new reporting systems uh, connected to the GPS, they can program these, this uh, gate system to dump, if they wanted to, 20 gallons at a time on little hot spots here and there, or 100 gallons at a time, or they can do the whole 800 gallons at once. Well, so basically this aircraft can fight small campfires as well as huge wildfires as well? It sure can, yeah. It's got super capability. This aircraft is really well equipped with avionics. It's got a brand new GTN 750 Garmin radio stack, a second comm radio. It's already got the four service uh, TDFM 136B in it. Good transponder, I believe it's a GTX 345. It's got MVP50, which is an engine monitoring system. And then it's got the fire gate control over here from Trotter. This aircraft's ready to go to work. Uh, it's ready to be Carter for four service and go do its job. It, this thing's just amazing. So this aircraft can fly from California to Hawaii. How does it do that? So what they'll do with this, when they get ready to ferry the aircraft to Hawaii or even Australia for fires, they'll take the floats off of the aircraft, put the, the standard landing gear back on, and then they plumb the hopper, which holds 820 gallons, into the fuel system. So then the aircraft has enough fuel to fly nonstop from California all the way to Hawaii. When your life's on the line fighting forest fires, this is the way you want your aircraft constructed. Built by Air Tractor, an employee-owned company right here in Olney, Texas. This aircraft should be yours. Join us on May 20th at the Ascent Live private aircraft auction, where David and I will see this sucker across the block.